let's dive into the R statistical program and in particular we're going to explore a variety of features that will help us do some analysis of baseball data. So our objectives uh, for this particular video are to use a vector and a function to calculate batting average and we're going to look at a familiar player that we have already analyzed in the past. We'll also use a vector and a function to calculate his age and together the batting average and his age will be used to generate a scatter plot uh, to see the visual result of how these two things relate to each other. In the video that summarized how to read a baseball card we looked at Tony Gwynn and Buster Posey. And for purposes of uh, this exercise in R, we're going to revisit Buster Posey, and in particular, we're going to look at some of his stats, and we're going to recreate his batting average, and also we're going to look at his age and how his batting average varies over time. So the formula for batting average is hits divided by at-bats. And what I want you to uh, recognize is that the steps that I'm listing here are what we're going to perform in RStudio, which this video assumes you've already installed RStudio. And I want to make some connections between the data that's on the back of his baseball cards and how we're creating vectors, or you could also call them variables, uh, that represent the data that is in his baseball card. So for instance, uh, hit the number of hits which are in this column are represented in this vector. You'll see that the numbers 2, 124, 46, 178, and 153 all appear there. Similarly, at-bats appear in this vector. And because the data is relatively small in terms of the number of samples, um, we are we can just type them by hand. Uh, in uh, in the future, we're going to be looking at much larger data sets. Uh, but in this case, I want you to understand uh, how to enter this data yourself and do some calculations. So then, what we're going to do in uh, in R is create a function that is uh, a computation that is calculating the ratio of H over AB which is precisely the formula for batting average and then just to check our work to make sure that we are on the right path we're going to ask the program to show us the batting average to display it just by typing the vector's name and that that will help us confirm that we are we have recreated the calculation for batting average. Now you'll notice that I am excluding the bottom rows in the data and that is because those are his major league totals, his career totals. So we are not including uh, that particular row. We're only looking at his results for the first five seasons of his career from 2009 to 2013. Okay, so I'm going to only explain and, and recreate the first four steps for now, uh, just to ensure that you can follow along. Okay, so what we're going to do is within the R package, uh, I want to just explain uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, this particular console here is uh, where you can enter uh, commands and uh, and certain subroutines it's sort of like a working space we're actually not going to use this what we're going to use is the console on the bottom left this is the command line prompt where we can uh, enter the data and perform the computations so we're actually I'm actually going to ma maximize this to so that this dominates the left side of the screen on the top right of the screen we have the environment where it's going to display certain functions that we create so as we go along we're going to be able to see uh, what kind of information 
we are creating on the left should appear on the right. And then on the bottom right, uh, there are multiple menus or multiple folders you'll see here. And the default is to a certain folder where R will look for data. We're going to use this later, uh, not now. What we're going to focus on now is the second tab, which is called Plots. And in here is going to display the plot that we generate based on the uh, vectors and functions on the left. Okay, so this will make a little bit more sense as we start entering some data. So the first step that we're going to take is create a vector called H. And this represents the hits that he has taken. So we will, we will basically enter data that will all be stored into a bucket called H. So after entering H, we're going to say that that variable H equals, and this is where we enter the data, but what we're going to do in R is we're going to use the combine function. So that all that requires us is to enter the letter C, and then open parentheses, you'll notice that the close parentheses is automatically added. So we're going to enter the data from the back of the baseball card, which are the hits for the first two year, two, uh, five seasons in his career, which he got two hits the first year, 124 the second year, 46 the third year, 178, and finally 153. So I'm going to hit enter, and you'll notice that on the top right, uh, the environment says, hey, you've created a, a vector called H, and it contains this information in it. So now R is smart enough. Anytime we refer to the letter H, it means that we are referring to these numbers, which have five different samples, five unique samples. OK, let's uh, do the second part, which is looking at uh, how many at-bats he receives. So we will create a vector called AB for at bats. And so the at bats is comprised of uh, combined data. So C, open parentheses. He had 17 at bats his first year, then 406, then 162, 530, and finally 520. Now I'll hit enter, and you'll see again that AB is stored now in the environment. So the, those terms, those variables H and AB actually mean something. So let's now create a, uh, a third variable called batting average. Now notice that I didn't put a space in between those two words. I put an underscore because we want the entire variable to be one string. Okay, no spaces in between. So batting average is going to be defined or equal to H divided by AB. Okay, so now you'll see that uh, that is stored here in memory. You'll see that the computation has already taken place in the background. Those are the batting averages for his first five years. But in order for me to see it on the console, I have to type in batting average just by itself. And when I hit enter, it displays the data for me. And it confirms that there are five entries, and it confirms that it performed the calculation correctly. Now let's just check the data to make sure that uh, his batting average, let's pick for instance uh, his uh, fifth year. Uh, that is batting average was 294 and as you as you can probably recognize only the uh, first three digits to the right of the decimal point are what's used in baseball cards so let's just confirm that 294 was his batting average in his fifth year and you'll see uh, 294 does show up here so we are we are good to go thumbs up everything's looking good uh, now, w the second step that we're going to do is we're going to create uh, another uh, operation uh, using uh, the command sequence. Now, we've used already the combine function, which was the C with the parentheses. Now, we're going to use the sequence function. 
So what this helps us do is we're going to create a new variable called year. And year is going to be the sequence between the years 2009 to 2013. Now what this does is this saves me the time of typing all the years between 2009 and 2013. So it says sequence is defined by this range. Okay. Now uh, the next step is I'm going to create another uh, vector called age and the player's age is going to be year which is the variable that I defined previously minus 1987 and the reason I'm using 1987 is because you'll see from the back of uh, Buster Posey's baseball card is that was the year in which he was born so essentially what I'm asking R to do is to perform this calculation for me. The difference between the year in which he played and the year in which he was born is going to be his age. So that is uh, the reason for this computation. Now again to make sure that uh, everything is looking good I'm going to ask R to return the values for age to see if they actually make sense. So uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 years old uh, were his age. And to me, that sounds very logical. That's how old Buster Posey was uh, during his first five years in the major leagues. Now, going back to the uh, PowerPoint presentation, I just want to summarize that steps five, six, and seven are what we just did. Is we created a vector called year by using the function sequence which provides a range between the first number and the last number. Then we created a new vector called age by subtracting year which had already been created minus the player's birth year. Buster Posey was born in 1987. And finally we just typed in age uh, so that R would display the data that was stored in that bin called age. Okay, so the third and final part of this is to create a scatter plot. So I will just uh, demonstrate uh, or display the uh, the final two steps in doing this. Um, so this there are some pretty critical aspects to this. Uh, first of all, when I type in this command uh, called plot, the order in which I present the variables is very important because what it does is it creates the x-axis based on the first variable and the y-axis based on the second variable. So by doing just this simple command you will see we're going to generate a uh, visualization of the data that's already been generated. So I'm going to type in plot parentheses age I want that in the x-axis or in the horizontal axis and then batting underscore average and the y-axis. When I hit enter you're going to see that a plot is going to be generated on the right side of our studio. So you'll see here are the five data points one two three four five and we can generally see what the trend is but it turns out uh, the next step which is creating a line uh, gives us a better visual understanding of how these data points are connected to each other. So the function is called lines and again I want it to connect all the data that's displayed for age and batting average. And there is my line. Now just to summarize uh, this information I've put all of that in a single PowerPoint slide. In case you wanted to recreate, uh, there are only nine lines of code that you need to write. And the text colored in green is what you physically have to type. The text colored in black is what the software program returns to you as a response to typing in the vector batting average and the vector age. And then the plot itself is what is returned to you by typing in these two lines. Okay, so your task then will not only be to recreate uh, these results, but also to generate your own 
scatter plot and the x-axis can be any player's age but the y-axis has to be a ratio of something so it can't just be a count measure it has to be a ratio measure so it could be points per game for a basketball player or it could be goals per season for a soccer player or it could be yards per carry for a football player any rate measure is allowed on the y-axis but on the x-axis uh, I want you to use the player's age and this will give us some insight into that player's performance over time you don't have to do it for their entire career just do it for about five years at least uh, you can go beyond that if you'd like but I want a minimum of five years and hopefully uh, for your submission for your assignment you will have a plot that looks very similar to this with a scatter plot at least five data points plotted and a line that goes through it